Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome to Gold Rush. Gold Rush the game. Today I am going to bring you something completely different from what you usually see on my channel. Because at the moment I am hooked. Guys, I am really hooked. This game is, at the moment at least, is 10 out of 10 for me. Uh, from me. Because of how many things you can do in this game. I am pretty sure that some of you guys have already seen this game, some of you have already played this game, but uh, I am also sure that uh, most of you have never seen this game in action. And uh, this game is based on the Discovery show called Gold Rush, uh, where people are digging gold and it is quite accurate, simulator. It is actually Gold Rush, um, the game, simulator. You have to find gold, you have to dig gold. You start with the panning and you end up with huge excavators. Bulldozers, uh, front loaders, uh, epic systems, like crazy. This is, this is why I like this game at the moment. I like it because of how deep you can go in this game. Amazing. And I love the soundtrack as well. Uh, so, uh, this is a main menu. You can see the main uh, like characters uh, from the show. Parker, Todd and I believe Tony Beats. I think this was the name. Parker is over here as well. A young guy, young dude. Uh, who has been doing this... Uh, I believe that guy entered into the show when he was 15. And now he's 23 or something like that. But anyway guys, let's jump into the game and let's see what this game is all about. I have been playing this game for a couple of days now just to see how everything works. Uh, not everything, just to get started because I haven't tried out all those epic excavators yet. Uh, because I, I do not want to use any special cheat codes that give you money. I would like to get everything myself. I would like to grind everything out myself. And um, that way I believe I am going to learn this game the most. And uh, now Season 8 uh, Gold Rush uh, TV series, Season 8 uh, is uh, or was released a couple of days ago as well. Uh, this game was released a couple of days ago. And by the way, this is no paid promotion. This is just me playing this game and I wanted to share it with you. And welcome to Alaska, welcome to Haynes or Highness or I don't know how you have to pronounce it. Gold mining capital of the world. Sounds pretty awesome. Uh, so guys, how I am going to do it is, I am going to start off from the scratch, just to show you how to get going, what this game is all about. Uh, I'm going to do some shopping, uh, some panning, uh, to get my first gold, uh, to get myself going. Uh, you can see that uh, we all are going to start with only $224 uh, dollars in our pockets and 0 0.035 ounces of gold. Uh, that is nothing and we need a lot more. Now, I like one thing what that game does um, uh, that banning is actually quite slow and um, yeah it may be a little bit boring for some of you but after you get your first the uh, one ounce of gold together game is going to reward you with 40 ounce gold nugget and after that uh, you are done pretty much you can buy new stuff you can move on from panning and um, when i have showed how to get going i am going to load into my current save that i have been playing for today it was actually my second day in that save and i have been doing quite awesome work over there already uh, so anyway let's get going uh, let's jump into the truck let's take key break off let's press x to get angel running and uh, let's go into the bank actually so here is the map we have warehouse where we can buy stuff we have bank where we can take loans where we can rent uh, uh, where we can rent the mining areas, uh, for example this one, we are going to rent this one. We have blacksmith, uh, where we can melt our gold into gold uh, bricks. Uh, we have hardware store, or machine park actually, uh, this was warehouse, yes, a machine park, where we can buy those epic excavators, and we have gas station as well. And uh, this is why I said this game is uh, 10 out of 10 from me. 
Uh, because how many things you can do, how deep you can go, you have to think about everything, electricity, gas, uh, setting everything up, uh, hosing, wiring, uh, yeah. You can do so many things. So first, let's go into the bank with quick e-break and seems like this uh, city is completely empty. I am the only one over here, zombie after zombie apocalypse or something like that. Uh, anyway, let's go into the bank, let's use it. Uh, so what you have to do uh, to get going is you have to rent one land, one piece of land where you can actually start digging some gold. So let's rent the cheapest one, of course, because you have to pay rent uh, daily. Uh, let's uh, do some renting, no loans, I really do not need any loans. You can see the current uh, gold price for uh, one ounce and you can sell gold parts over here as well gold parts over here as well so uh, i did rent that piece of land and now i need to get going uh, you you can press tab to see journal uh, this is quick introduction pretty much how to get going go to the bank rent old arno arlold's uh, parcel claim uh, go to the warehouse you have to buy a couple of things so let's do that back into the car and now we go into the warehouse going to show you off how the buying works how the loading works and so on all right e brake on let's kill the car and welcome to the warehouse so this is where you can buy all those fancy stuffs uh, mobile fuel tank uh, big trailer small trailer a mobile wash plant yeah this is the future this is going to be my next big purchase in my current save a magnetite trailer magnetite separator wave table this is really really useful i just purchased the wave table as well so i was able to get away from uh, uh, panning but more about that soon but anyway, we have a lot of things over here. You can buy lights and, and uh, generators and uh, water pumps and so on. But what I need, what did I need? Let's see quickly. Journal, uh, Hogpen, no pump, Hogpen sluice box, core, two Hogpen mats, bucket. Yep, I remember now. And this is panic. But you are going to see that soon. So let's add one sluice box core. One no pump. A no pump means uh, you have to pour water in uh, by bucket. Uh, we need two of these mats. Everything makes sense soon, guys, don't worry. Uh, at first, actually, when I started playing this game, I bought my own gold pan and the panning system. Yes, this is fancy bucket. Fancy bucket, let's call it panning system, and we can charge people more. We can charge fifteen dollars for that panning system. Yeah, uh, but uh, you actually have panning system and a gold pan in your tent on the site. But uh, you are going to see that soon. Bucket, let's get yeah, let's get one bucket for now. I think we do not need any more. Let's use it. How much is it? 170 okay bye i have only 50 more uh, outside okay i know that you not show it anymore and i think we are good for now i think so so let's load everything in i did pay for my stuff yep this is the main thing let's carry it to our car boom Uh, do, 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 come on. This game was just released and it still has a couple of bugs, I guess. Uh, they wanted to rush it uh, to get... Uh, uh, they wanted to rush with the release to get it going at the same time with uh, Cold Rush TV series Season 8 because it was released as well. By the way, this is not a paid promotion. Just I'm simply enjoying this game at the moment and I wanted to show it to you as well So I have my no pump system. I have my sluice I have mats. I have bucket. I believe I have everything to get going and I have pan and panning system uh, 
in my tent. So let's get this engine going and let's get on the road. I know where to go. If you do not know where to go, just look at the map. But as I said, I haven't playing this game go for two days now. It is quite easy map actually. And I think before we are getting into our site, onto our site, let's quickly check out those epic bulldozers and excavators as well. Some loading time. This game is loading map in advance. Like not that in advance, I mean while you're driving around. So this is big excavator. You can see how much this costs. So 74,000 dollars. We have small. This is going to be my next big purchase as well together with uh, that uh, washing plant or whatever it was I showed you before. Bulldozer, uh, front loader, um, big power generator, 69,000 big fuel tank 14,000 and we have a lot of things coming soon as well so guys this game is getting better and better epic shaker you can see how big this goes you are going to start off with bloody pan with bloody shovel and pan and you are going to end up uh, doing stuff with this <laughs> crazy uh, trommel yeah and these are even bigger sluice boxes as you can see DJ TDJ but let's move on onto our side. Wrong button. Handbrake. Let's take handbrake off and let's keep going. So we have different areas that we can rent, where we can mine. We have this thing over here, Dry Lake River Town. We have Nighthawk Valley. And we have Perks Valley as well. But we are starting off small. Old R. Lold. Parcel. Yep, let's move on. You have different camera angles, you can drive inside, first person, what not. I like how post this guy looks. One arm out from the window. Ooh shit loading. Some wolf action, wolves in the forest. Luckily they are not attacking. But we have to get this show going because I have to pay my rent zone. But I need some more gold to do that. You can actually be negative with your money, but I do not know how far you can go. Hopefully game sounds are not too loud. Or maybe you would like to hear even more. Just let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, at first uh, I am... Turn your differential lock on, okay. Oh yeah, just to get four-wheel drive. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that tip. My poor poor driving almost cost me some valuable time. And now this is the area where we can uh, stuff all our excess uh, things like excess uh, buckets, wires, uh, hoses, whatnot. So everything uh, can be organized. But uh, welcome to our first site. Let's back up, e-brake, let's kill the engine, and let's start doing some work. Uh, let's set everything up at first. Hopefully nothing is going to be missing. So let's set this thing up for the start. Over here, like that. This is where we are going to put our pay dirt, so-called pay dirt, that is going to pay us money. Uh, so we are going to pour water on the top of the dirt, so that is going to be flushed over here. And uh, those mats are going to collect every piece of coal, hopefully. So let's set everything up. I believe it is easy, easier for you to get going if you watch this episode, for example. So this is why I wanted to show you the start as well. Because I am, I am actually doing quite nicely on my main save. But soon you are going to see that. So bucket, this is our area. I have been digging a lot, a lot of dirt uh, in my uh, main save. You are going to see that soon as well. Uh, so bucket is there, let's close it up. And I hope it is not lagging too much. 
And as I said, at, the, at first I actually bought the, that panning system and pan uh, separately from the store because I did not know that I had pan and panning system inside my tent. So let's put it over here. Let's grab our pan as well. Come on, lag spikes. Yeah. This game is fully released, but I believe it actually should be still called under development. Because we have a couple of weird things going on. But I really couldn't give less Fs for that. But guys, this is how your first setup is going to look like. Or at least this is how my first setup looked like. I have my sluice box, I have my... what you call it? I don't remember. This no no bump thingy, I have my mats, I have my shovel under button number 2, I did some key binding. I believe at first it was under coma and period key. Or, or maybe something like that, but I did some uh, key rewriting. Quickly I'm going to show it to you. If you cannot get your shovel or uh, flashlight open, just go under controls, uh, keyboard controls, walking, and uh, next tool, previous tool. I did set those things under uh, 2 and 1 button, because uh, those buttons were not used before. So, let's start doing some digging. Uh, at first, let's pick up shovel, and boom, done. And let's put it over here. You can see that it uh, gets full. You can put uh, 10 shovelfuls into this system. Gold, yep, golden retriever, you guessed it. <laughs> so let's do some digging. And this is literally how you get going in this game, guys. You start with digging and you end up driving with big, epic excavators. Front loaders, bulldozers. And uh, this game is getting even bigger. As soon we are going to get uh, drills. Not drills, drills. So now uh, when this is full, we need to use some water. So let's pick a bucket. Let's press E to use it, and let's pour water on the top of the turret. You can see how this uh, turret is going down, and uh, 2%, and those mats are 2% full now. 2% full of gold. Or dust. Whatever. Soon we have to pan it. And one more. One more bucket of water needed. Beautiful. Okay, let's do some more digging. Let's put shovel back. Like this is completely different game, as I said, to what you usually see on my channel. But, um, yeah, I'm hooked at the moment. I'm hooked. Simply because uh, I think the main reason why I am hooked is how you are going to get going. Like, what you have to do to get going. You have to do digging, you have to do panning, you have to get going uh, literally from the scratch. And you end up doing epic, st epic things. And this is what I like. I like to see progress. I like to get the worth there without cheating, uh, because uh, if you are not patient enough, you can use some codes, I guess, that give you money, but I'm not interested in that. Like, this is going to take away some uh, some special things from the game, for me. Uh, last shoveling. So I'm going to show you how it is done. Let's pour some more water. And by the way, you can see gold. You can see gold. Yep, did you see it? Beautiful. You can see gold going down. Just look. Beautiful. Gold retriever. Nice. And one more bucket. Oh, shit. One more bucket of water. Okay, 11% full. Now, what you should do is get one bucket full of clean water. 
put it over here, take one mat, go over here into the bucket. Shake it, shake it. I like to shake it four times because this is the maximum amount you are able to do it. Just in case you can see how water is getting dirty and stuff. Now this mat should be cleaned. You can see mat number one, zero, mat number two, eleven. And now, guys, this is where the fun starts. Let's fill it up as well for some panning action. Let's put it over here. Let's take our dirt. Let's pour it. So let's pour some of it on the pan. Boom, boom, and we are panning, guys. Let's lower it. My controls are ASTW and uh, right and left mouse button. Right mouse button is going to put it down, or sorry, left mouse button is going to lower the pan, and right mouse button is going to lift it. And here we have our first code. Going to click shift to go into the cold collect mode. Check our gold. We have 0 0.035 ounces and 0 0.045. Yep, at, at start it is super slow, guys. At the start it is super slow. And I have been uh, doing some testing. You can shake it as much as you want, but uh, like at that percentage, uh, when your mats are, let's say, up to. 20% full lore or something like that, uh, you are only going to get one nugget at a time. Shake it, shake it. Shake it even more. Oh yes, we can see one big old fat nugget over there. Okay, let's empty the water into the collect mode with shift and let's grab it. 0 0.50, 0 0.058, beautiful, yeah, okay, we can do it four more times, but as I said, as soon as you get more money, as, you, as soon as you get your 1.0 ounces together, or maybe 1.0 something, you, maybe you need a little bit more, uh, game is going to give you 40 ounce nugget with some fancy messaging 0 0.058 oh that was 0 0.009 ounce gold nugget one more bucket four and done bucket is empty over here shake it off shake it off like Taylor Swift and just in case. Come on, come here, come here. Boom, done. Got it. Let's empty it. Now let's do the same with the second mat. I don't know if this is the best way to do it or the fastest way to do it. Uh, I have actually, I actually did some testing if I did uh, clean my first mat two times and my second mat two times in the same pocket. I actually received a lot more gold with every single uh, panic. So maybe this is going to be a little bit faster way how to do it. You can just test it out. But I'm simply going to show you how it works. Boom. And shake off. Two more times, this is faster. Beautiful, and that. Let's go to the chart. ASD, double keys. Force water off, third water, and that. Okay. And we have over 0 0.1 ounce together, guys. This is not going to give you epic amount of money, but this is how you get going. And uh, how to do it even faster? I'm going to show it to you soon as well. You can buy some extensions. Like I did it in the boring way. Ooh, this is one big old nugget. Let's see. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so now we are done, I think. Let's clean it up. Yep, bucket is empty. And guys, this is how you get going. 
we have 0 0.113 uh, ounces and how you can get it uh, even faster you can see you have four mat slots over here so you have to buy that extension that costs you that is going to cost you 100 dollars if i remember correctly you put that extension over here and you can use two extra mats so with the uh, same amount of digging with same amount of watering you can get four mats into equal percentage uh, so simply you are going to catch more gold as you saw from uh, that one clip as well uh, gold was still going off so maybe i guess i missed it uh, but now i am going to show you what you can do with your gold oh shit let's start up the car as well so this is our system and by the way that uh, trailer over there this is where you sleep you can sleep uh, one hour or you can sleep until the dawn uh, we have night time over here as well where you cannot see anything unless you are going to use some generators uh, some shit, some um, lighting action you have to set up everything, you have to set up lights, uh, wiring from the generator to lights, uh, generators, they need fuel, you have to buy jerry cans, you have to fill them with fuel, and so on, so on. And the pumping system is also nice, all the hosing, uh, filtering, water filtering, uh, water, you have to take water from the river, and with uh, tiny hoses you can connect them to different units, different pieces. I hope it is not lagging too much. If it is, just let me know, guys. Let's turn on some lights as well. And we are at Blacksmith. So, let's open it up. Why? You're going to see that soon. So, over here you can either sell that raw ore right away for 110. Yeah, because uh, 1,225.60 dollars per ounce is the price of full ounce gold bar. Uh, so you can sell the ore, but to get even more money is uh, crafted into the gold like brick, I think. It is going to cost you some uh, gold, uh, or it is going to cost you some money, some time, uh, some gold. But you can melt it into brick, like that. You can see it tells you 0 0.1 ounce. Yep. Let's put it into our car. And I believe you can actually store it as well. For example, in your tent. Later in the game you have like gold wall. This is actually going to be my goal in the future. To store all my gold in my tent. To make gold wall, for example. And boom. And break. Otherwise, if I'm not going to use handbrake, I'm simply going to show you what happens. Bye bye, sweet car. Alright. So, what was the price? $110, I believe. And over here, sell gold bars. 0 0.11 ounce gold bar. Sell it. It actually sold it already, but it, it is not showing up. So, let's click cancel. And you can see we made $140. So, you actually. Oh. Dude, <clears throat> I was just joking. Hello. <laughs> this is what I told you, that you have to use handbrake. But, let's go back into the warehouse. I am going to show you how you can do it even faster. So, at the moment you do not have to pay rent. Okay, handbrake, I forgot it. At the moment you do not have to pay rent because it is still day one. <clears throat> and I can spend my 192 bucks on extension. One extension, please. And two more mats. Like that. Boom and boom. 42 bucks in the bank. Let's load it up. And I think I'm going to set it up and after that... I'm going to jump into my main save, where I am going to show you what is going on over there. Done. And let's roll out. 
Hopefully I'm able to make it over there before it is pitch black. And I am over here and it is quite dark actually. So I guess I am going to sleep it out and we get going tomorrow morning. So, handbrake, let's kill the car, lights off, and I am going to show you off this thing as well. You go to sleep until the dawn. And good morning, ladies and gents, what a beautiful morning this is. By the way, I'm going to show you off this big uh, mining area as well. You can see it marked with uh, those posts that uh, this is going to be our future goal with excavators, guys. Can't wait, can't wait. But beautiful morning. And guys, actually, I'm going to show you one more thing that you can do in this game. You can actually hire workers, but you have to unlock it for 3000. So you can set your workers, for example, on the system that we have at the moment. And they are going to do work over there uh, for daily payments, I guess, or if I remember correctly. But I haven't done any worker, worker stuff over here yet. Uh, transport system, uh, uh, you can transport your heavy equipment like excavators, bulldozers uh, from the machine store uh, to your sites uh, for money, of course. But uh, now let's set this thing up once again. And boom. Done. Now you have fully working system. And quickly I am going to show it to you how it works. Let's do some digging. And done. Okay. Let's take water. I don't know why it does that sometimes. And now you can see every single mat is working. Now you can see how every single mat is working. Yep, every single mat is at 1%. So that means more gold. That means two times more gold than before. And you can see that gold coming down. Oh, beautiful picture. Beautiful picture. Shiny, shiny gold. So, guys. Once again, this is how you get going, how you get started. You start digging with shovel over, shovel over here, Ooh, like that. And pressing right mouse button is going to drop the turret. Uh, but now I believe I am done showing off how to get going. Like this was just for you. Now we are not even going to uh, save uh, this uh, setup over here. We are going to jump into my main game. Let's go. Load game, chill, chill number 12. Why the hell not? It is actually a chill one, two. I am going to save stuff uh, two times over just uh, because I heard some uh, save files are getting corrupted. Uh, so I do not want to lose my save games. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my current setup after playing this game for two days. Uh, this is actually what I did this morning. I have exactly the same setup over here, uh, but instead of no pump system, I have pump system, but I am not using this actually at the moment. Uh, so I simply have to connect this host to this little area over here and it is going to be fully working once again. This is wave table. Goodbye panning guys. Goodbye panning. You do not have to do any more panning. Uh, this is wave table and what do you think where it uh, got its name from? Of course, from waves. Uh, this is going to shake. Uh, your pay dirt and uh, you are going to get gold automatically. You can see that I have 37,000, uh, everything is legit, no cheat codes. And I have 29.65 ounces of gold. This is amazing, this is worth around, I don't know. Actually, gold price is uh, changing in this game uh, a lot. It is going up and down, like this game, once again, guys, is going Super deep. Is it working? Nope, it is not working. Beautiful. And my generator is not working as well. Oh, actually it is, but it is not making any sound. Why? Okay, now it is. And uh, let's turn off water as well. Like that. Done. And maybe this was also working, but it simply didn't make any sounds. 
just in case I'm going to stop it. Uh, so, wave table is uh, what shakes gold for you, no banning anymore. Mm, uh, wave table needs generator, I have generator. A generator needs fuel, I have fuel inside. You have to open your fuel gap over here and you have to pour in fuel with jerry can. But uh, to get fuel, you have to go into the fuel station, you have to uh, fill your jerry cans with uh, fuel in the fuel station. Uh, with diesel. Everything runs with diesel in this game. Uh, so electric wire, small electric wire goes into the uh, into the pan. What are you doing? I thought I did organize all my stuff. Well this is, go this is called organizing my stuff, yeah. But this is just after unloading. Oh yes, I bought the small trailer as well just to carry more stuff. I have one extra generator over here. Uh, for the future, let's put it over here, extensions, uh, some more wiring, some heavy wiring, and, uh, everything, every fuel canister is organized, the, all those are 100% full. I actually do not know how many generators and fuel pumps you can fill with one jerry can, with one uh, diesel canister, uh, because uh, this one I used uh, that same canister on uh, three of my units two generators and one fuel pump and every single thing was at 100%, 100% full. Uh, so this is uh, over here just because I have used it already, I'm going to try it out, maybe I can use it even more. And all those things are filled with diesel, are full of diesel. Some uh, heavy duty wires, smaller wires, just in case, backup buckets. Uh, spare parts, uh, this is uh, f uh, this is what you call it, uh, water filter. Uh, water filter goes in the front of the water pump. In the front of the pipe that is in the water, Ooh, over here. This pipe goes into the pump and uh, from those tiny hoses you can actually um, water two different units. I was using that system over there as well, but not anymore, because uh, for some odd reason, let me show you something, guys. For some odd reason, taking... I don't know if this is intentional or not. Let's fire it up. Come on, come on, come on. Some lag issues. Let's fire this up. Let's put some water running. And let's start shaking. Boom, done. Okay, so for some reason, taking water, a dusty water from the river and pouring it over here, you can see my gold is going up, guys. My gold is going up. And not just a little, it is going up. Every bucket, uh, I believe, puts it up by one ounce. This is pretty crazy. So let's see, let's test it one more time. 31.183, 31.183. And you can see, by the way, you can see how much digging I have done. <laughs> yes, <laughs> this is crazy. I don't know, I think it is at least, at least 500, if not 1000, shovelfuls of turf. I have been doing a lot of digging. So 31 point... Wow! Almost 2 ounces. This is crazy. So this is why I'm not using this system anymore. But just uh, in case I'm going to show it to you. I was actually using this system and banning before my waving table. Uh, before I had enough money to get the waving table. I bought the um, simple fuel pump. Uh, that red hose uh, with filter and one uh, green hose. So, and of course, uh, pump system box as well. Uh, so you can connect it over here and boom. Now, you do not have to waste time uh, putting um, buckets full of water over here. You can simply pick, you can simply take out your shovel and automatically it starts working. Mats are automatically, come on, mats are automatically going to fill up. So this is the first step to get everything automized, motorized. Yep, this is your first step, I would say. Uh, fuel, uh, sorry, water bump, 
into the sluice box system and into the panic. And when I did enough panning, when I finally got to my first one ounce of gold, I was able to uh, make a brick. I think I got around... I don't actually remember how much gold I got, or how much money I got for that brick, for John's brick. Maybe 59,000? Or something like that. Anyway, it was a lot. It was enough uh, to get my waving table going. And now I have 33 ounces of gold left to melt. And quickly, let's see the price. Uh, old Glen Bank stock. Oh, oh, it is dropping. Wow, it is dropping like a madman. So now, at the moment, I am not going to sell my gold. No, 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 no. This price is way too low. I guess it is going to get a lot higher now and luckily I do not have to sell it because I didn't buy any heavy equipment and I have enough money and so I can wait I can pay my rent easily I can two buckets full of gold like that and you can see gold is shining inside it and I can simply continue doing this yeah guys so this is gold rush the game I like it, I like it a lot, I am hooked because I would like to move on, move on, get into next things, get into first excavator, get into big excavator, get into those epic sluice box systems, uh, I would like to automate everything, I would like to hire workers and so on, so on, so on. If you would like to see more, hit that like button, I know it is completely different from what you usually see on my channel, but maybe this is going to be my second episode today. You never know, just something extra for you. It is awesome, I like it. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Take care and bye.